today, but we are going to work on holding our breath and improving lung capacity just in case we get sick. So, let's see if I can put this by the pool where we can, can see, see the see pool. Let me see. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, you may have to just put it on the edge of the pool. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see the pool. I don't know if I can see you. You may have to be lower. Like right here? Yeah. There you go. Alright. Hopefully the phone doesn't fall in. It won't. Alright. So, is it on? Yeah. You're live? Yep. It's on Twitch. Yeah? So jump in, walk across the bottom, hold your breath. It's an iPhone 11, so you'll be all right. Um, so holding your breath during training is really good for <laughs> really good for replenishing the uh, oxygen in the system. What's wrong? It's not that cold. The ball floats. The ball floats. Oh, never mind. That one's not gonna work. So the kettlebell. We're gonna do some uh, some training where we take a weight across the bottom of the pool. And while we're going across the bottom of the pool, as you hold your breath, you're still doing work. So your body is utilizing every bit of oxygen in the system in order to uh, in order to do the work that you're asking it to do. Then some deep breath technique at the very end, followed by another cycle of the bottom training the breath hold training then allows the body to train itself to utilize more of the oxygen in the system all the way up to and including the very last ounce of oxygen you in do your a system. Lap to get warm. You do a lap. She's going to do a lap. We're using a 20 pound kettlebell which will sink us to the bottom her especially. It'll sink her to the bottom very quickly. Me, not so much. This is about roughly 10% of my body weight. This is uh, it's about one sixth of her body weight. So this is going to take her to the bottom pretty quickly. She's gonna basically hold it at chest level and walk across the bottom. So you wanna take five very deep breaths you got a message. From Angela. Five very deep breaths. So in through the in through the nose, big deep breath as far as you can go, and then big deep breath out as far as you can go. So go to both extremes. Inhalation all the way to the point to where you can no longer hold any more of that breath, and then exhalation until you feel like you cannot expel any more breath. Five times through, and then one deep drop to the bottom, walk to the end. <clears throat> She's gonna come up on, on the other end, which uh, looks to be about 35, 40 yards or so. And then same thing, five big deep breaths, one deep breath, hold all the way to the bottom and walk. Just wanna see if she can cycle through that. If not, all she has to do is drop this bad boy to the bottom and come right up. Her own buoyancy will carry her to the surface safely. And I'm a really good swimmer. And she's a much better swimmer than I am. <laughs> so, I have no problem believing that she's going to be able to take care of this just fine. I'm already All right. out of breath. Yeah. Just from... Okay. So, do your five breaths. I'm not going to lie, it freaks me out a little bit. Yeah. Well, just drop it to the bottom if you feel like, you're, like it's too much. Otherwise, carry it at your chest line and walk forward. Well, when I did my lifeguard training, I had to get like a 10 pound weight or mm -hmm. a 15 pound weight off the bottom of a 12 foot pool in the right. dead water. Right. With it underneath the surface. Mm -hmm. That was 20 years ago. <laughs> Here we are 20 years later. <laughs> Incoming purple dye everywhere. 
Yeah, let's see how much dye comes out in the pool. All the way out. All the way in. All the way out, 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 out. All the way in. All the way out, 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 out. And sink yourself, go. Yep. She's gonna walk. As you can see. Didn't last that long, did it? <laughs> no. Why not? What happened? Where'd it go? I didn't have my breath. You didn't have your breath. So, you gotta take that breath. It's gotta be a big, deep breath. I need goggles or something. <laughs> so it's very tough to do this because the body, I mean, the body immediately starts using oxygen as soon as you take that deep breath. <laughs> and your mental state is important. You know, if you think that you're on the bottom and you're staying there, your brain starts to kick in and starts to tell you to do all sorts of weird shit, like oh, drop the weight okay. and come to the surface. Huh? I knew I was okay. <laughs> it's not that far. It's only <clears throat> Here she goes again. Big deep breath, dump yourself. I can't open my eyes because I'm a contact. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll go down and get it for her. <laughs> Lots of work. Incoming work. I'm gonna buy some goggles. Buy a scuba set of or a mask. We scuba have a mask. mask. Go get it. They were getting closet. Or did I give them away? I don't think we gave them away. We had the whole set. We had two sets, two didn't sets. we? Yeah. Did you open your eyes? Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that in my contacts got pulled out of my eyes. Just go to the bottom, start pushing. Go, 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 go. There she goes. Just going to an angle. Oh. <laughs> You want to go get the goggles? <coughs> I had to come up for breath anyway. You did? Yeah. She made it about... <laughs> you made it about five <laughs> yards. <coughs> Why would you do such a thing? All right, five deep breaths. Grab it, continue to walk. So a lot of this training is also mental, you know. She gets to the point where she feels like she's not gonna be able to hold her breath any longer. But after a few of these, her brain will stop telling her that she has to drop that weight and she'll just be able to force herself to continue to walk. <laughs> I can I can hear it cracking the bottom. Oh shit, and it rolled. Yeah, it'll roll all the way to the bottom. <coughs> now it's like practically back to where I started. Practically. I'm gonna walk without it. Alright. I don't think you can. Why don't you swim underwater without it? Just swim underwater.
What's that? Hopefully, the clients don't miss what it says. Hopefully. My guess is they're not going to replace another one. You're not going to what? So my guess is they're not going to replace another one. Probably not. <laughs> like a drowned purple cat. Mm -hmm. My favorite kind of cats. That really sucks that it fucking rolled back. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna try to go as far as I can. So if you just tuned in, he's about to take his turn attempting to walk underwater with the weight for the best thing. There he goes. He's a lot further than I got. He's like all the way to the shallow end. He's almost to the end. Yeah, he made it. Not me. Huh? I said not me. I'm a wuss. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, obviously, a lot of it is mental. Mm -hmm. Like, when you hold your breath and you're underwater and you have that pressure, your body thinks that you're going to drown. Your brain thinks it's going to drown. Obviously, it's not. You can just drop the weight and come up. Or in my case, stand at the five-foot line and, and just stand up with it. I mean, if I stood at the five-foot line... Right, so you try to get to a point where you can stand up. Now, as soon as you stand up, as soon as you stand up in the water, take that, that kettlebell or that weight or whatever you're holding on to and press it overhead 10 times, holding your breath, holding your breath the entire time. So come up to the surface, take a deep breath, and press. Okay, training the lungs, training the system to utilize the oxygen that's going in. So again, you can do this in the, in the shallow end, just weight yourself down, hold your breath as long as you can, and then stand up out of the water, take another deep breath, and hold and press, and press, and press, until you can't hold your breath any longer, and then take the five deep breaths again. So she's going to do that now. So five deep breaths, five deep breaths, all the way to hold, all the way to expulsion, and then she's gonna sit on the bottom with that weight as long as she possibly can. She's letting out a lot of oxygen. Hold your breath. Keep pressing, keep pressing, hold that breath. Press. See how much easier it is to do work with your, with your breath hold on the water? So she's training the system to use all the oxygen possible in order to do the work. Then her rest period is as long as it takes me to do the same thing. I'll walk all the way to the end, or excuse me, I'll go down now, I'll do the same thing. I'll sit on the bottom with this weight as long as I can was letting out a lot of air, a lot of carbon dioxide, which there's still a little bit of oxygen in that, in, mixed in that carbon dioxide that you let out. There's a little bit of oxygen. So the longer you hold that air in, 
the more of that oxygen you'll be able to derive. So letting a little bit out of the nose, just a little bit, or out of the mouth, just a little bit, will allow your body to cycle a little bit uh, easier. And it's a good mental uh, stasis as well. So again, I'll take five deep breaths. Ten seconds. <coughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So right about roughly her her breath hold is about ten seconds. Her work breath is about 20 seconds so you can see the pressure that it puts on the body to be underwater to have water going in your nose to have water pressurizing your ears even though it's only a couple feet under the water there's an immense pressure on the body when you're at depth or at any depth whatsoever so the amount of workload that she can do above the water is a marked difference in the amount of breath that she can hold She's not doing any work under the water. The weight is just holding her there. So the only work that her body is doing is holding the breath. So suffice it to say, she should be using more energy above the water, meaning she should only be able to hold her breath 10 seconds under workload above the water and be able to hold her breath 20 seconds under the water. But it's actually opposite. That's the brain. That's the brain telling you that it's time to come up. So the more you can shut your brain off under the water, longer you can hold. So try to double your time every single time you do this exercise. So write it down. If you're under, underwater for 10 seconds, write down 10 seconds underwater. Second set, 12 seconds underwater. Second set or a third set, 15, 20 seconds underwater. And then work uh, your way up from there. Write down your workloads as well. If you're able to hold your breath while under load, for 20 seconds, try to go 25 seconds, try to go 30 seconds. This is going to increase your ability to maintain good oxygen replenishment 
and usage while you're in the gym, while you're running, whatever it is. It builds a mental block uh, on that pressure when you're under the water, when you're under immense pressure, when you're in the middle of an MMA fight or you're in the middle of uh, rolling in, in uh, BJJ or whatever it is you're doing. This mental block that you're trying to get over uh, will help you across the board in all aspects of working out. All right, let's do a couple more. buddy too because you never know what's going to happen when you hold your breath. Plug your nose. I'll show you how to do that right now. I get pressure. That's what I want. I get pressure right here. Yeah, me too. Painful. Right in my arms. Like that, but that's really painful. So I'm going to hold this with one hand right here at the chest. I'm going to plug my nose with the other hand, and we're going to see how much time I can get out of it. For as many sets as you can. I don't even feel out of breath right now. I can I can probably do another set right now. Um, it's very refreshing. It expands the lungs. It expands your ability to to take in oxygen and then utilize that oxygen under under load, which is very important, especially under pressure. All right, one more. Try to get to 15 seconds. out of it. 
you got to put your mind someplace completely different. Start thinking about green pastures in New Zealand or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Think about something else. seconds. So the breath hold with the with the nose pinch, it takes the pressure off of you to not allow water into your system. Eight, nine, ten, twelve. Start letting out oxygen a little at a time. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Keep going. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, 8, 29, 30. There you go. You just got to set a goal. Set that goal. Set it higher and higher by 10% every time. You're going to reach it. Do this on the daily. If you have a pool or a large enough hot tub, maybe. You can do it in your bathtub if you got a big old sexy bathtub. But yeah, this kind of exercise is really good. Really good for the lungs, good for the brain. I don't know how far I can walk. Oh, this is 6.6. But like you said, immediately after, I'm not out of breath at all. Right. You're not out of breath. You're, um... It doesn't tax you that way. No. You're refreshed. You're very refreshed. So try that out. I'm surprised the phone hasn't heated. <laughs> What's that? So of course the phone hasn't heated. It's not that hot out. Oh. Yeah, lots of fun. Yeah, I totally forgot that this ball here has, <laughs> has air, air in it. it. <laughs> so you can actually probably sit on this in the water. Yeah. And it won't go anywhere. So it's a 10 pound ball, but. It's 10 pounds, but it's got enough buoyancy to hold itself up, plus me this right on the chest and just kind of float. more taxing than doing the weight, the breath training. Uh, so yeah, all the workouts aren't always going to be traditional workouts. In fact, a lot of our workouts aren't traditional bodybuilding workouts. Um, we will show you guys stuff that you can do from home. We have a 500 square foot courtyard, so it gives us a nice space that we can work out outside. Um, so this week, I'm off in the morning, so we will do a morning stream at some point, between I guess 11 and 12 maybe. Yeah, 11, 12, right up to the point where she goes to work. Um, and we'll show you things that you can do with stuff that you might already have at home, um, or even just body weight exercises, conditioning and stuff like that, um, so that you can stay healthy during your quarantine. You don't have to... You don't need a traditional gym. You don't need weights. They're nice to have, of course, for the resistance training, but you don't have to have it. No, your body weight is um, your body weight is a very good tool. Your body is a gr one of the greatest tools that we've ever known. Um, and having said that, the mechanics of the body, although most of us don't have the full range of of motion uh, that the body is capable of. The body's mechanics are amazing, um, and utilizing those body uh, mechanics properly uh, is essential in maintaining overall body health, flexibility, um, spatial awareness. As you get older, you know, stepping off of a curb, rolling your ankle, and breaking your hip can be deadly if you're by yourself in the middle of a snowstorm or something. 
<clears throat> so I teach a lot of my clients to maintain good flexibility, maintain good spatial awareness, maintain good um, tensile strength in the connective tissue, the ligaments, the joints. Um, range of motion is important. Um, Push-ups, sit-ups, uh, standard air squats where you just stand in one space and squat down uh, and drop your butt as far down onto your calves as possible. If you ever look at a baby squatting down, they get into a perfect squat position because that's how the body is made. And when you're brand new and you're spongy, it can go into those positions. That's the position you should be able to get into. If you can't, work on it. But use your body to your advantage, especially right now. Do your push-ups. Do five sets of 10 push-ups. If you can't do a regular push-up, kneel down and do a regular push-up that way. You can sit on the edge of the pool like she's doing right here. Go all the way down, curl yourself all the way back up. If you have a mask on, obviously it's a little bit easier. <laughs> Bonk herself in the head. But figure out new and, and uh, different ways to use your body as a tool to maintain. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm really dying. You're not, not really dying? I promise it's not Corona. It's not Corona and it's not her. It's not her time. It's not her time to go. Yeah. Don't inhale water, guys. It's bad for your health. But anyway, if you guys have questions, you can shoot them her way. If she doesn't have the answers, she'll ask me. If I don't have the answers, I'll ask somebody else. Ooh. Pass it on. Information, pass it on. <laughs> oh, good times. Yeah. It's a nice day. It's gorgeous. I know, I wish I didn't have to work right now. It's awesome. <laughs> the phone is hot. It's mm -hmm. like black. Ugh. Let's go over here. <sighs> Go sit in the shade. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We will uh, have the another workout for you tomorrow. Give us feedback. If you couldn't hear what I was saying or what we were saying, let us know. Yeah. Give us some feedback. Let us know if you could hear us, ways you think we can improve. Obviously, an underwater camera would be really nice for this stuff, so we may look into that. Um, you sponsor us for an underwater camera. Give us a hero. <laughs> That's right. Give us one of those hero sixes. We'll take one. <laughs> we won't cry about it. We won't be mad. Yeah, we'll shout you out. All right. Bye, guys.